Tuesday, September 30th, culminated a month-long mission for the refreshing church when they presented 27,000 bottles of water to the Star of Hope. We are uh, excited and honored that we have collected water for the Star of Hope uh, to make sure that we live up to our church's name. We are the refreshing church and we're refreshing them with, with water. We know in our hot Houston heat and even throughout the year that uh, a lot of our homeless, elderly, uh, uh, have trouble with hydration and in this humid uh, weather that we have we know a lot of people lose a lot of water and need replenishing and not with sodas and some other things but just have plain good water. Over 27,000 bottles wow, of, a water. Lot of water. How yeah. long did it take to collect that? It took a month and it's uh, with, our, with our leadership um, at the church. It took, it took a month to do it. I understand this was your idea. Yes, it was. So, so what made you think of this? Because when, as I think about homeless people and needing water, needing something to drink, I really knew the refreshing church could be that for them. We could actually have water, something that they could drink, something that they could actually refresh their lives with. And, and what was the response from the congregation? Overwhelming. Overwhelming. Very awesome. They all pitched in. They all wanted to be a part of this effort. And they've shown that by donating over... 27,000 bottles of water. Who does that? She said it was overwhelming, knowing her idea will help others. Oh, wow. Overwhelmingly, when I think about all the people, the lives that we were touched, when I think about 27,000 bottles of water, I think about that young girl that maybe his uh, parents are not in their home any longer. I see them being, you know, them having water. That makes my heart feel good. Then I think about maybe that mother that doesn't have a job, doesn't have a place to stay, that father that doesn't have a place to stay. Maybe they want to just buy water. Things that we take for granted, that we could just go to the store and buy, maybe they cannot. So to be able to touch their hearts, touch their minds, to, to just let them know there is somebody out there that loves you, that makes me feel really well, very good. I don't want to start crying. So what would you tell somebody who's thinking that my idea really doesn't matter? And, and, and so why bother? Their idea does matter. Whatever, what we think is so small to someone else, it's not small because we take so much for granted. Just because it's a bottle of water, maybe it's 50 cents, maybe it's a dollar. I mean, that's not too small for someone else that doesn't have it. So whatever your idea is, definitely cultivate it, get people involved, and do it. You will be surprised at the people that you will help. You'll be surprised how they receive it, how they're just, they want to know somebody cares about them. So let them know. Let them know whatever your idea is, don't stop. Do it. The Refreshing Church is nine years old. It started in my living room with eight persons. And uh, we're an energetic, eclectic group that love giving God glory, not as concerned about what we're wearing on the outside, but make sure our hearts are right on the inside. And that we are encouraged to be a blessing to as many people as we can to do the work of God so that the will of God can be seen through the work of God. Then the ways of God can be better understood because they see the will and the word working together. With the good news for HCN, I'm Anthony Turner.